Okay, so part C it says, given that a flight between the two cities takes longer than 80 minutes, find the probability that, that it takes less than 82 minutes. Okay, so this is, right, this is a confusing question if you've never seen these before, but hopefully you have. Um, and I've seen many. And when I see that word given, that tells me that this is a conditional probability question. So this is, if you remember, the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. This formula is in the formula booklet. So the probability that T is less than 82, because that's what he says here, find the probability it takes less than 82 minutes, given that T is greater than 80. That means T has to be less than 82 and bigger than 80, which I can write as T is bigger than 80 and less than 82, divided by the probability that um, t is greater than 80. So we always divide by the we divide by the um, the one that's given. So now all I need to find is this and divide it by this which I have I actually have that value. So I've already done this here. So let me do it again. So I'm going to press menu probability, distributions, normal CDF, lower bound 80, upper bound 82, the mean, look at it up here, 75, and the standard deviation is 3.4084. Press enter, and I get 0 0.05113, 0 0.05113. And the denominator I have from the previous question is this, 0 0.071193. Um, which is quite strange that um, they're both 1193, but that is just a strange coincidence as far as I can see. Anyway, this divided by this is equal to, I've done it here, 0 0.719074, 0 0.719074. Or if you really want to write it as 0 0.719, three significant figures. Okay, that's part C. Part D, I'm going to do here, just so I have space. Part D, it says, on a particular day, there are 64 scheduled flights between the two cities. Find the expected number of flights that will have a flight time of more than 80. So I know the probability, well, the probability that T is more than 80 is 0 0.071193. That's from part, that is from part, um, part B, or it's here anyway, it's this. And if I want to know, look, that's like saying 7.12% of flights are longer than 80 minutes. So how many of these 64 are longer than 80 minutes? Well, I'm just gonna multiply that by 64. So 64 times 0 0.071193 equals, um, I did it here, 4.55635. 4.55635 or approximately equal to 4.56 flights. That's the expected number of flights. I'm put a ring around this and I'll also put a ring around this. Okay. Finally, Find the probability that more than six of the flights on this particular day will have a flight time of more than 80. Okay, so hopefully guys, you can see that this is now, this has now become a binomial distribution because they're either more than 80 or they're less than 80. And there's this fixed, there's a fixed number of trials, which is the 64 flights. So there's 64 and the probability that that uh, they're more than 80 is this 
0 0.07119300.071193. And we just need to find the probability that x is the pro uh, so the probability that more than six of the flights in this particular day. So x has to be more than six, and this equals we go to menu probability distributions binomial CDF. The number of trials is sixty four because there's sixty four flights they're talking about. The probability of success is this zero point zero. 71193. That's the probability of one flight um, taking more than 80 minutes. The lower bound, be careful, guys, is seven because the question says more than six. More than six. I have to put seven because it's a binomial distribution. And then the upper bound will be 64. Press OK and I get 0 0.169119. 0.169119. Circle this, and that's the question complete. I'll see you in the next video for the next question.